What do you know about... us? Not much, man. If you kill someone by drinking his blood, then he turns into a vampire too. Usually causes memory loss, and you don't remember anything from your past. That's what's happened to you, man. You'll wander around as a vampire for a few days, but then you'll slowly start to act more and more like an animal. And eventually your brain just quits on you, dude. And you end up being one of those mindless ghouls. But, <laughs> hey man, that ain't gonna happen, right? I'm sure. Let's talk about something else. Okay, dude. Whatever you want. Can you tell me anything about the museum? Uh, Rose told you about that? Sure, man. What do you want to know? What do I need to know about the museum? Hey, man. I ain't exactly a museum aficionado. Look, some rich snob had it brought here from Europe. Used to be a castle or something like that. Otherwise, the guards are pretty useless. Just fat old dudes, you know? They only carry pistols and they probably could have hit a house at 20 yards with them. The annex is an old watchtower kind of thing. That's where you'll find the security office. Okay, thanks. Um, there's just one more thing. What? Word is, Blooming's digitized a few things about vampirism to keep in the museum. I'd really love to cast an eye on them, bro. Maybe you could find them and bring them back with you? If you do go to the museum, it'd be way cool if you could bring something back for me. If I get the chance. Tell me about Blooming. Blooming is one crazy son of a bitch. Guy really ain't got both oars in the water, man. I met him about a year ago because I was thinking about working for him. But that dude is crazy. You know, it's gotten even worse over the last few months. The last one who went over to see him never returned. He figured Blooming killed it. Sounds like fun. Sure, man, if you got a thing for nutcases. Let's talk about something else. Sure, man. Whatever you want. Rose said you could teach me something more. Not really teach, you know. But I got an idea about how you can train your intuitive reflexes. There's a few thugs hanging around out front of the club. Maybe you could check it out. Sounds good to me. All right, man. Good luck. I found myself in a deserted alley. Tom had sent me here for training. Something was wrong. I staggered down the only way I could find. Hey, man. You look pretty messed up. How about it, sucker? You got some change? That's right, man. Give us your money, or you are so toast! I felt anger rise in me. A desire to hurt someone, and a craving for blood. What kind of sick shit's this? I couldn't explain what had just happened. Had I just killed someone and drank his blood? I'm telling you, the bastard Dud Mikey tore his fucking throat out! Okay, man, calm down. We'll keep you safe. If he comes over here, we'll take him out.
Something's here. Ah, oh, man, now I'm imagining things. nightmare. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey man, everything okay? Can you tell me something about the sanctuary? Sure man, sanctuary is a nightclub as you've probably noticed. However, we mainly use this place as our base and as a refuge for young vampires. I don't know what Rose told you about us, but most vampires are loners. That's why the young and inexperienced usually don't make it. The club lets us cover each other's backs and help one another out. So it's a good thing you landed with us, bro. Oh, and uh, maybe you should uh, talk to Jennifer? She's still a human, but she digs vampires. <laughs> know what I mean? See you later. Yo, man. Later. Hey baby, you're looking good. Anything I can do for you? Let's go somewhere quieter. Sure thing, hon. Hey, that was fun. Don't forget me, baby. Hey, you're Eric, right? I don't have much time. As you can see, I'm kind of busy. Tell me about yourself. Honest, are you deaf or something? I'm busy. You can go bug my sister at the bar if you don't have anything better to do. Yeah, sup? Tell me something about vampires. Maybe you don't realize it, but I'm working right now. I don't have time for that right now. Welcome back, Eric. I'm ready. Excellent. Good luck. How do you rate your chances? I'll make it through. Whatever you want. I'll give you a radio so we can stay in touch. And I'm pretty good with computers. Maybe I can help you out a little. Good luck, Eric. I made my way to the museum and thought about what Rose had said. Vampire. The idea was absurd, incredible, but the evidence was overwhelming and irrefutable. I was hoping that someone would come and tell me it was all just one big joke, but no one came. For now, I would have to accept it and focus on my goal. The Harding Museum rose before me like a quiet rock impervious to the approaching storm. At least that's what I thought. Apparently, I was not the only visitor to the museum tonight. Someone else got here before me. Someone with a twitchy trigger finger. Rose, can you hear me? Yes, what is it? Have you already found Blooming? No. There are a few other people wandering around here, and they definitely have not booked the night tour. People with automatic weapons. Automatic weapons? Be careful, Eric. The best way for you to get into the building is through the annex. There's a connection to the foyer on the top floor. Okay, I'll get back to you later. <laughs> 